Yeah, look at look at these wonderful fall colors. It's October 7th. Back at my tried and true bug out. Mostly to experience you know these fall colors and this location at this time of the year. And so here's the here's the deal. It's a bug out kind of just to get away. But I will be up to the crest, high up. Uh, one factor that's going to key into that will be water supply back in this uh, crescent lake and creek draw back here. There's water running here, which is a good sign, a good indication that there's going to be water back there late in the season. Cascade Trekker back on the scene. We're following the, the familiar logging road that's been closed and uh, cow trail. Yeah, things are a little different now. There's no snow on the ground. Well, there it is over there. Plain as day. And so just over there is the step that I'm looking for. There it is for sure. Yeah. And I'm standing in the dry creek bed. It looks like there's been water here recently. Um, I guess I'll just look a little bit down farther. See if there's anything. Yeah, this is this is a dried creek bed. In this particular spot, it looks familiar with these big trees close to the, where the water was from uh, the last time being here. And so I'm just going to head up to camp. I've got two, two and a half liters in the bag right now, which is plenty. Uh, overnight and back to where I started. There's the ridge top here and uh, the step is back this way and I can just basically go to the big tree here. I remember curl around yeah, we can we can see the top ridge line here. Yeah, the crest back there on the top. Real nice to be here. This is gonna be the spot here. Here's the zone and the water supply was not down where I was hoping. Now there is a an option which I might be able to explore. Uh, the, 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 the creek bed that I found that was dry, you know it's possible that there's a spring at the top of it. Uh, the plan was to just follow the ridge up, get onto the high line, 
the top crest and I think I can see double top back there part of double top and uh, get over the top of that and camp somewhere over on the opposite of the valley here. There's lots of deer tracks through here. I know they come through. And speaking of which, here's this bright orange hat I'm wearing because it's hunting season, rifle hunting season. So it's going to be one thing I have to watch for. I have a great idea. I'm, I'm just going to leave the tent here for uh, maybe an hour and a half. I'm taking a very light pack load all the way back down to the creek where I started to load up with water as much as I can. I'm full here. This way I can do the loop tomorrow that I want. Well, I found some water. It looks like it just springs over here and probably ends somewhere down in here. So that's going to save me a bunch of effort. I was starting to get worried. This is... a little confusing, but it, it's, it's unsettling to leave all your gear someplace and you might get lost. Sometimes you'll find these secret runs of water and this one is only 50 yards and you'd never know it was here unless you walked walked up on it. Or again, like I'd mentioned, following the source up. But this this looks like it runs all year round. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful morning. Oh, yes. The warm-up is here. It's going to be a wonderful day. I know it. I slept great here. Temperature was about 44 degrees in the tent. 39 outside and uh, there were there were friends walking around here last night uh, I tried to film these birds this morning <clears throat> it was so dead quiet here yesterday afternoon and early evening uh, I said where are the birds where are they at and then they came they were everywhere. They didn't seem to frolic around this tree too much, but they were all in these trees. And my guess is they stayed there contained overnight. 
And then they were over here in these trees this morning. And so heartwarming. This uh, deer came along the edge of this slope last night. And I'm just sitting here reading. <clears throat> and uh, I probably wouldn't have noticed unless I looked over there. And I'm thinking no doubt he saw me. But realized I wasn't a threat. The Cascade Trekker. And I blessed him not to be hunted. For he had survived quite a few seasons. And I only hope that he survives more. And on the contrary, early this morning, a noisy hunter walked through here, examined my tent, and kept going. And just before that, uh, either because I rolled over or the animal heard him, there was, there was a friend over here that just took off just before he walked through. So the warm-up is here. The day is starting. This high peak over here, high ridge, was uh, where the sheep's head was left by my tent. And that's above Hidden Lake. Here I'm on this open slope that I skied on and it uh, had some steep cornices that I had to negotiate. It's quite familiar. Um, the going is much quicker now without the snow. And just up here I'll angle left and uh, decide what to do, but we'll be looking to traverse the crest this way eventually. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. All right, this is uh, really close to where I stopped skiing. Um, I guess I'm going to go to look uh, up here. There, I don't see any indication of a trail. I'm creeping along the side of this little butte. And I see this ridge here. I might just have to be over there. Which, you know, isn't horrible. I just want to see what's up over here. There might be a connecting ridge, but I think I have to go all the way around. Alright, we've got some precarious rocks here. And I'm up here. Looking. Ah, definitely need to be over there. I gotta get down and go over here. Alright. I shouldn't have climbed that boulder. So, that's the ridge I came up right here. 
And it's looking good that I'm at the top, at the back. I'm just hoping there's a connection over here. be over there. Well, maybe we, we can connect this. It doesn't look that impossible. Yeah, back up on these rocks. Uh, and this canyon is getting less deep as I go up. I really need to be over there, which, given, you know, possibly a, a saddle back this way, it's possible. I've got a bit of, a bit of work to do to get over there. And I can see this, this is attainable through here, so, I'm going to get over to this saddle and see what I got. Let's get it. But not be in a spot like this. Alright, and so... Easy enough of an escape. Looks like I, I see a cow trail down there. And there's even standing water back here. But I'm really curious now about there being a saddle between this one and the other one. And I gotta go slow through here. I don't want to hurt myself. I have to drag myself down. Now, I'm pretty darn close to that guy. And I see trees down here. I'm, I'm kind of just skirting a bit of a drop and then I got trees going down. I've been climbing this way. I just don't feel I want to climb anymore. If I could cross over to that slope and I would just climb up climb up the side around the back of that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I see the, there's the bottom over here, not too far, less than a quarter of a mile. I'm going down here. It's a little thick. It's all right. I got stuff to grab onto. And I'm not gonna fall on a big rock or anything. over there. It's clear. I think it's a good plan. I can see. There's the bottom. I'm almost down and I see the bridge I was looking for. But I'm okay with this because I have no idea what I would deal with and I couldn't see that and I could see this. And honestly, I'd almost rather find whatever trail I can going around that way. I'll probably have better views too. Here's the second spot that I've seen some really industrious deep digging. And I don't know what would be doing that back here. It's a definite animal trail. And I keep saying to myself, there's no bears back here. 
and I've been all over and I haven't seen any signs but this is this is pretty isolated back here just a little worrisome okay we need to head over this way yeah, I see some clearing and so this isn't too bad here I'm just gonna get to these trees and see what I see on the other side might be a miracle that I came down over here and if you look at here those nasty boulders in there and cliffs in here at the, the saddle which there's no way I would have known about until I got to cliffs or those these rocks and it just may have been a dead end or a, a bad mishap in the forest and it looks like looks like close to the top I can see sky through here and you know if I don't find any trail I'm gonna have to shoot for this and the back side of it this side Ooh, yeah. oh. for sure this is the crest. I, I gotta believe it is. And no trail yet. I doubt there will be. And it looks like I'll just kind of go up this grassy section and see what that flat area looks like in the trees and see if I can kind of edge around the higher part. Holy man. Tell you what, I didn't think I'd see this today. Look at this. And this is uh, High Creek Canyon, or the one I hiked up 10, 12 days ago. And I got a little bit of something resembling a trail here, guys. Looks like, yeah, see here, we got something here, and so this is just super. I'm going to break and eat and rest up, and I think the rest is going to be a piece of cake. I'm up now. And look at this. Here's the trail, and it looks. There's that ugly bit of rock, I think. It looks like I'll go down below that and somehow get around this guy. I don't know how. That's that's the one that stopped me last time. And I think that's it. Here's the site. It's fantastic. And this is part of part of that dream to you know hike this whole length. And this is one of the big question marks through here. Yeah, pretty intimidating here, this guy. Uh, there's a cairn. And we go, we're going to go down this way, around the bottom. Well, it's a good worn track through here. I'm hoping it's an indication of the next segment up here. And the trail really gets faint through here. Uh, Here's an old cut for the trail, and it seems to go through this little small nook on the uh, western, northwestern side. Well, here it is on the on the back side, west side of Double Top here, and uh, 
I just kind of built up this old cairn a little. Well, here I am on the side of the double top, and it's it's a relief now. I can see there's a, a, a kind of a rustic trail, but the trail's right there, going through this bit of a, a pass or a coal, a rocky coal, going around back to the other side. And from memory, on the other side, I recall a trail going up the grass, but it looked like it dead ended. And so I'm guessing it just goes around the corner and meets up with that. There it is. Beautiful hair. Look at this. base. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, yeah, hallelujah. Look at here. I made it. Boy, I would, uh, such an odyssey over there this afternoon and this morning. The motorcycle's down here. Uh, we can see Naomi Peak, the, the high point back there. And this was the dream slope right here to ski on. Uh, I've been all over down here and as high up as this ridge over here that's partly open and I just couldn't get up here. Let's see how much of this trail that continues. I've got a little something here, and this is below you know, one knoll, and this is another knoll that uh, I'd come this way along the rocks with no trail, and I'd climbed over this knoll with no trail, but this well worn right here. Hard to say, I don't... We'll see where it goes. I just don't want to drop down too far and have to climb back up. Drastic. You know, no one uses it. No one's found it. It's it's on a stretch that no one really uses, I don't think. I saw some footprints back there. something and it's not really going down. There's just a lot of boulders up there. I'm just gonna hang with it for now until I, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, and so probably the trail curls around somewhere and switches up to this. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going this way. I'm going to have to switch back and go over the top. It doesn't look like much. It just beat me up really hard. So this is the back, the other side of this bit that I was on. and I've been through here. It's not a whole lot farther. Here it is, a familiar sign, this old broken down cairn here, and now I'm just going to go down this, 
I'm hurting for certain. That was, that was a hard one, guys. All right, I'm just going through this basin here and up to the left to get a camp spot. All different now. Everything's all dried up. I feel like a zombie. And just somewhere up there, we'll get a spot. Okay, got the zone set up. Pretty much exactly where I wanted to be up on this, oh, this white pine ridge. And today was, oh man, more than I had planned for. I'm glad that uh, I went for it. I'm glad I got that water yesterday. I used about a, a liter and a half to get here today and I've got three liters, which I'll probably use two tonight, if that. Uh, and then a liter to head out. It's just going to be, I don't know, probably an hour out. It's just down this ridge line and then it curls back down. And it's just going to be winding down now with dinner and uh, the book. Maybe a couple hours of sunlight. And then uh, another hour of dusk. Man, what a brilliant morning up here. It's fantastic. Beautiful weather. Beautiful night last night sleeping. 
the wind died down. It was really calm and quiet. It wasn't cold. It was, I think it was almost 50 degrees in the tent this morning and like 45 outside. I was up before the sunrise. It was nice and bright and bright enough to make my first coffee and wait for nature to happen. And this group of grouse came up and they, they were making this noise like <laughs> I said, oh, somebody's coming. And uh, I was in my tent, kind of on my belly, and it was difficult to film around the fly and hold the camera steady uh, and without making noise and a bunch of movement to startle them. And there was one, there was one fine hen that was not so uh, skittish. I was talking to them and saying how good they looked. And then after breakfast, this group of buck deer came up. I heard a noise. I was reading and I looked over there and I saw him. And I said, wow, he's pretty close. It's, it's just down in here. About, it's probably about 80 yards away. And again, I was filming from inside the tent, trying to hold back this fly and trying to get up above these rocks and get focused. And then he passed and I'm like, oh man. And then the big guy came out and I got some really good footage of him uh, and he snorted and then took off running. Uh, but there were some curious ones. I, I came out here in my bare feet and popped my head down here and they, there was one guy down there and I just, I blessed him. I blessed him for a long, fruitful life out here. Great morning, great morning with Cascade Trekker. path, cattle, people, horses, animals, that's right on the ridge, and uh, there are cliffs along this edge, and a drainage over here, pretty easy going, very scenic. Alright, I think this is the High Butte on the right. Uh, this way, uh, there's a, a kind of a cliff going down and just maybe, you know, an eighth of a mile this way, sloping down to that saddle I'm looking for. I'm just going to go in this direction. It's not going to hurt. Here we have a, a fresh kill, porcupine kill, really fresh, even nervous to be around it. 
And there's the guy's tail that's left here. And here's a cattle trail just across this clearing. This, this I skied through. Very familiar terrain. Uh, I probably came from somewhere up on top here. Well, there was snow all over here then. Uh, this trail I was on kind of dead end back, dead ended back here. Uh, what I saw were marks in the ground. Looked like foot marks, double foot marks, which would indicate to go this way. And here I've got the aspen again. Uh, I'm going to look for just a root to go down diagonally through the forest, uh, avoiding still the cliffs that are probably right in here. And I've been seeing footprints, human, like right here. I'm close. Here's a good vantage point. Uh, just a little off my mark. Right down there, I can see the road. And I'll just kind of edge down through the forest to connect with it. Uh -oh. Almost as expected, the regular worn trail. Mostly by people hunting. Should take me right down there. There it is, my visible, my, my visible, iconic goal right here. And now I can see across the valley where I started uh, yesterday, right there over there on that step, up the ridge, up there. And then into Upper Boss Canyon. And these leaves are so bright and they they almost light up after the sun is gone.